Happy Monday, guys! You might notice that I am not in the video that you're watching, and it's because I'm the driver. I had to go to the chiropractor today, so I thought I would just take you guys with me, but since mostly when I'm in the car, all I do is sing and listen to Night Vale, I figured that I would just narrate it later on. So here I am, narrating. As I go hurtling further and further into pseudo-adulthood, because let's face it, going to college isn't really like growing up, going to college is putting off growing up, but as I reach further and further towards that end, sometimes I do feel grown up. I, I feel older. I'll be sitting in my car driving and suddenly I feel like I'm sitting up straighter and that I have a purpose and that I'm going places. Or sometimes I'm in class and I and I just listen to people talk and I feel like I'm ready to be beyond that, that I'm done with this and I am so done with this and belonging to this. I have always lamented the fact that I am a very fickle human being, but lately I've sort of come to terms with it as a survival tactic, because it's not so much being fickle as it is being able to change direction quickly. And of course that does include fickleness. Um, any boy that has ever dated me has known that as soon as they lose my interest, as soon as I lose sight of them, they've lost me. So, sorry everyone. But I've always been true to myself, the written word, and my true relationships, my, my family that I am close to, my friends. But I do find it a little disturbing and disrupting that I can let go of something so quickly, like it didn't even matter. Like Suwani, I was crushed when they didn't put out enough I needed more than that five grand, and that had been, that was it. Everything depended on Suwani. That was all there was to it. And as soon as I decided that, no, that wasn't going to work, I couldn't do that. Okay, nothing depended on that anyway. I didn't need that. It had nothing to do with anything. There was nothing important there anyway. And so that ability to just drop it and decide, no, never mind, that wasn't important to me at all. I changed my mind take it back. It's always sort of disturbed me. And I keep talking about and thinking about how maybe I am growing up and, and I sit in the car and I, and I suddenly feel this sense of grand purpose. But then I'm also still at a point in my life where I'm too afraid to go to the post office to send off Christmas presents because I'm so scared of having to talk to people and, and not knowing what I'm supposed to be doing and that frightens me so much, so I haven't dislocated myself from anxiety. If you guys were expecting, because there's a narration instead of just me on camera, if you were expecting this to be a well thought out, put together monologue, you were wrong. You were very, very wrong, my friends. Connor, it was nice to hear from you. I'm glad you're not dead. I'm glad you're okay. Caitlin the band thing will be okay. I promise. I didn't have school today. Because there's frozen roads, and that's why I was going to the chiropractor. Because I had an appointment for four, but if you're off school and can go at two, then fuck it, do it. And so now I'm home alone, considering the future. This week, my music recommendation is Clementine by Sarah Jaff? Sarah Half? Sarah Hafe? I'll just link it, which I'm sorry I haven't been doing. Haha, <laughs> it's because I've been posting at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> and so I hope all is well with you, and I hope all continues to be well. I love you, and I miss you. Have a happy week. Have a good week. Happy week. That's weird. Am I British now? Someone punch me.